कामाख्या द सोर्स डिवाइन माँ कामाख्या और कामेश्वरी इज द रिनाउंड गॉड एस महामाया फेमस श्राइन इज लोकेटेड इन द हार्ट ऑफ नीलाचला हिल सिचुएटेड इन द वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ गौहाटी द स्टेट कैपिटल ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ असाम इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया माँ कामाख्या देवालय इज कंसिडर्ड द मोस्ट सीक्रेट एंड द ओल्डेस्ट ऑफ दिफ्टी वन शक्तिपीठ इन अर्थ इट इज द सेंटर पीस ऑफ द वाइडली प्रैक्टिस्ड पावरफुल तांत्रिक शाक्तिज्म इन इंडिया द कालिका पुराना कनेक्ट्स नरका द प्रोजेनिटर ऑफ द कामरूपा किंग्स विद द गॉडस कामाख्या The name Kamarupa by which Assam was known in ancient times is derived from the name of Mother Kamakhya. It has been suggested that historically the worship progressed in three phases as yoni under the Mlecha kings as a yogini under the Palas and as one of the 10 Mahavidyas under the Koch. The main temple is surrounded by a complex of individual temples dedicated to the Dasha Mahavidyas of Shaktism namely Kali, Tara, Tripura Sundari, Bhuvaneshwari, Bhairavi, Chinnamasta, Dhumavati, Bagalamukhi, Matangi and Kamalatmika and five temples of Lord Shiva namely Kameshwara, Siddheshwara, Kedareshwara, Amarakoteshwara, Aghora and Kotilinga around the Neelachala hill. Here mother is worshipped in her an iconic form that is in the form of a yoni set in natural stone and not in any sculptured image which continues till today. The Kamakhya temple was patronized by the Mlecha dynasty in the 7th century followed by the Pala kings of Kamarupa and the Koch and the Ahom dynasty kings. The ruins of the temple destroyed by Hussein Shah was discovered by Vishwanath Singha the founder of the Koch dynasty who revived the worship at the site. But it was during the reign of his son Naranarayana that a grand temple was built by the end of 1658 the ahoms under the king jayadhwaj singh had conquered the kamarupa and after the battle of itakhuli the ahoms had uninterrupted control over the temple the current structural temple and the rock cut sculpture stone in the vicinity indicate that the temple has been built and renovated many times the current form called the nilachal type is a temple with a hemispherical dome on a cruciform base the temple consists of four chambers garbagriha and three mandapas named as chalanta pancharatna and natamandira aligned from east to west The Garba Griha is small and dark and can be reached by narrow steep stone steps. Inside the cave there is a sheet of stone that slopes downwards from both sides meeting in a yoni like depression some 10 inches deep. This hollow is constantly filled with water from an underground perennial spring. It is the vulva shaped depression that is worshiped as the goddess kamakhya herself and considered as the most important shakti peetha of the devi according to puranic tradition goddess sati gave up her body when her father daksha did not pay the due respect to lord shiva in his yagna unable to bear the insult of carrying the body born from daksha goddess sati gave up her body 
When Lord Shiva came to know of this, he was enraged and caused much destruction, carrying the dead body of Sati on his shoulders. To relieve the pain of Shiva, Lord Vishnu decided to cut the body into 51 pieces and scattered them across the Indian subcontinent. These places are called Shakti Pithas. Kamarupa is the region in which the Yoni is said to have fallen to earth and the Kamakya temple is constructed on this spot. According to Kalika Purana, Ma Kamakya manifested herself in the form with six heads of varying colors, wearing opulent jewelry and garland of red hibiscus and holding in her twelve hands a lotus, trident, sword, bell, discus, bow, arrows, club, gourd, a shield and a bowl. She is seated upon Lord Shiva who in turn lies atop a lion. To each side of her sit Brahma and Vishnu. Important festivals observed in Kamakya temple are Ambubachi Mela. Ambubachi Mela is the biggest religious congregation in the northeast India. The word Ambu means water and Vasi or Bachi means flowing. It is observed during the monsoon season in the month of Ashadha. The traditional belief is that during this time, the Devi who is worshipped as the Mother Earth enters into the period of her annual mensuration. Ambubachi has a deep-rooted connection with the ancient agricultural concepts which compares Mother Earth to a fertile woman. Diyodhani Mela Beginning on the Shravana Sankranti, Manasa Puja is observed for three days in Natamandir of Kamakya Temple. Diyodhani Nritya is performed coinciding with Manasa Puja by people believed to represent the spiritual power of Goddess. Durga Puja Durga Puja is one of the major festivals of Kamakya and the whole place is seen in a festive mood. The celebration is quite different from other places. In the Kamakya temple, it is observed for a fortnight one Paksha, beginning with the Krishna Navami and ending with Shukla Navami of Ashwina month. Hence, this is also called as Pakhua Puja. Ma Kamakya is the bestower of spiritual progress and material prosperity. May she fulfill all our desires and free us from all the trouble. Until we meet again in another powerful temple of India. Namaste.